Hallelujah. Once again, it's Sunday. I want to bless God's name for this privilege to share the word of God with you. If you are joining us for the first time, this is Short Word with Prophet Debola I know. Let us pray. Father, we thank you this afternoon. We give praise to God in Jesus' name for the privilege you are given unto us to see another day, another Sunday. Thank you for what you have, uh, your word, your worship, prayers, your presence in our services. We give you praise to God in Jesus' name. Lord, I ask again. As a sons and daughters hear your word, I ask God that you speak to them in Jesus' name. Minister to them, minister to their needs, minister to their hearts. Make their hearts receptive to your word in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm so glad that I can share the word of God with you, even though it's brief. And that's why we should call it short word. I'm sure your pastors have spoken to you, your leaders have spoken to you. But what is the mind of God from us to you? I'm sure you have heard this saying. You have heard it. We even, I'm sure also you have also participated in the saying, the devil made me do it. You know, ah, it is not me. I was under the influence of the devil. So the question is, who is to blame for the happenings in our lives? Who is to blame with our misbehavior? Who is to blame with our character? Why do we wish? I don't like to ship blame. It didn't start today. It started with our forefathers. You know, in Genesis chapter 2, verse 16, 17, 3, 12, 13. And the Lord God commanded the man, you are free to eat from any tree in the garden, but you must not eat from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. For when you eat from it, you will certainly die. Uh, 3, 12, the man said, the woman you put there with me, she gave me some fruit from the tree and I ate it. One of the earliest bad habits that uh, uh, started was blame shifting. As a child of God, I know, especially now, you know, I'm always going back and forth concerning the last days and always going back and forth concerning the happenings uh, in this world because I need to keep reminding you about these things so that the scripture in Revelation that talks about that even if the if uh, I'm paraphrasing scripture said if the elect were not careful they also will be deceived you know, we Christians like to play the blame game, putting everything on the devil. Now, I'm sure somebody, somebody will be wondering, ah, why is the brother talking this way? I thought, you know, is the prophet raised prayer point concerning devil and all that and all that. There's a place for the devil and there's a place for you. Now, from the beginning, Bible recorded that an instruction was given to Adam. And theologians have made so many school of thought and said this, the woman was not around and all that and all that. But I believe in the power of choice. Power of choice to decide not to. I'm sure you can't give me something and not ask you where did you get it from. I don't know where Adam, whether Adam did that, but in the long run, he hurts the apple. Funny enough, a question was also asked about from uh, Eve. What happened? She shifted the blame to the serpent. And unfortunately, the serpent couldn't make up an excuse. Hallelujah. This is the last days that you need to decide on whose side are you. This is the time for you to stop blaming the blame game. Blaming uh, the, 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 the game of making an excuse out of the choices you have made. You know, I heard over years ago that you are where you are today as a result of the choices you have made. We Christians like to blame the devil for everything that happens to us. Even why we are supposed to, we are supposed to pray, we are supposed to give, we are supposed to tithe, we are supposed to be a worker. 
as long as we go to church, they blame the devil. You know, I had a story years ago about someone who was believing God for a job, and then finally the job came, and then he stopped going to church. What was the excuse? The excuse was, my job does not give me time to work. And then God took the, the job from him because he was not able to manage the two together and he came back to square one. Yes, I know in John 10, the Bible says the devil has come to steal, to kill and to destroy. Yes, I know. But you have to decide yourself. More often than not, you know, there's an adage in my language that says if there are no cracks on the wall, the lizard cannot enter. We are the one that is allowing the devil to afflict us. We are the one that is allowing the devil to steal what is hers originally. So enough of excuse. Yes, I know the terrible things are happening to Christians. People are frustrated, people are struggling, people don't have money. The devil is frustrating Christians in the area of their finances. And you know, the legal tender of this world is money. Yes, I know. The heat is hard. Yes, I know. But the devil made me do it. No, I don't agree with you. The, the devil made me to go and sleep with another person because I needed money. No, I don't agree, agree with it. The devil made me to swindle people's money. No, I don't agree with it. You have choice. You know, a woman, you know, people these days don't want, they're not want, afraid, they're not fearful. They don't have regard for God. Because prayer is a communication between God and man. He can open a man and say something. Imagine a woman opening her mouth to, to pray to God that God should protect her child who is fooding people of their money. That God should touch the heart of people the child wants to fraud. And I had a prayer point. I was so amazed. I was wondering, how can you be bold enough to say this to God? This is the last days that you... Every child of God needs to put their foot on ground and stop making excuses and take charge of their life. Enough of blaming, you no know, playing the blame game, of always blaming the devil for everything that is happening to you. Every one of us has where we are struggling with. And any mature child of God knows that the, the popular scripture that I always use to challenge myself, the trials of our faith, count it all joy. We all are going through a lot. So the devil made me do it, it's not an excuse for you to have extramarital affairs. The devil made me do it for you to beat your wife. Funny enough, beat your husband. Because I've heard stories of women you know, beating their husbands, slapping their husband. The devil made me to misbehave. It's not an excuse. You know as a child of God. Who caused Moses to fall to the enemy's trap by being angry? He did not deal with anger. And he got angry. And then he didn't see the promised land. This is a new week. And I therefore challenge you. As you go in this new week, you are empowered by God to put your foot on ground. You have all the authority and the backings of heaven concerning you to choose well what you ought to do. You know, uh, the book of Ephesians, Ephesians, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 1 talks about be ye therefore imitators of Christ. Be ye dear for disciples of Christ, meaning you are an ambassador of Christ, a representative of who Christ is, of his person, of his life, of his style, of everything. So as you go in this week, go with that mindset that you are standing, you are representing Jesus Christ. You no, know, when we're going up also, also we are told that the devil or the unbelievers you cannot read the Bible, that we the children of God are supposed to be the Bible they are reading. Be encouraged today that whatever you are going through, God is not shocked by it. God is not surprised by it. And that's why it's important for you 
to communicate. I will say the scripture says, let us therefore boldly come to the throne of grace to obtain mercy. You don't have any excuse to excuse yourself. Because whatever you are going through right now, everybody is going through it. It may not be in the same, pa in the same fashion, but everybody is going through it. And thank God for the only thing who is able to help us go through it if we yield ourselves to it. Once again, it's a new week. I release the blessing of God upon your life in the name of Jesus. As you go in this week, the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. The Lord will lighten your path in the name of Jesus. That every evil that is waiting for you or waiting for your children, waiting for any by one of your in your family, that God in His mercy will cancel it in Jesus. He's able to shield, He's able to protect you. I may He do that for you in Jesus' name. You are believing God for breaking through financially. That God, as you go in this week, you will break through financially in Jesus. I believe in God for the foot of room. Whatever I believe in God for, I join my faith with yours today that God will visit you, that God will minister to your needs in the name of Jesus. Once again, it's a blessed week for you. Do not forget, we have several programs. I want to appreciate those that joined us for our program, you know, yesterday night. Uh, prophetic grateful prayers for businessmen and women. Please, if you missed the fellowship, uh, please go and look for it. Prophetic grateful prayers for businessmen and women. Come October, we are starting a fellowship, a video. Um, the Midnight Cry. But every Friday, 12 midnight, we will be praying at least for 30 minutes. As God leads us, we will be praying. So please join us. Uh, it is time for us to pray. Like I always tell people, encourage people, I don't just pray anyhow. I pray specific prayer. I pray with, with understanding. So we can't afford to miss the program. We have other programs coming up. We have other uh, programs within the week that we do uh, just look for uh, our platform our accounts our page on our social media um, instagram facebook uh, youtube all at obadebola praise i'm sure you have been seeing the id the information on the on the screen or on the caller join us so that you can be informed about our programs. Also, please, our uh, YouTube ac account is functioning and we need people to uh, help us share as you listen, as you watch these programs, uh, share our YouTube, subscribe to it also because it will go a long way to help us, help us push the gospel furthermore. Uh, I always encourage people, the work of evangelism has gone beyond the physical. You can do work of evangelism on, on social media also. Even by ordinarily sharing this content with your brother, with your sister, with groups that, uh, that uh, you are involved in. And I'm sure if you do that, there is a reward. I would say God is a rewarder of them that diligently seek Him. Even so, in your service also, there is a reward. That is attached to it. So as you help us share, there's a reward, there's a blessing attached to it, and you not lose the reward in the name of Jesus. Uh, finally, the gospel will be spread abroad with finances and money, and we need money. We need your help, we need your assistance. So I'm sure you have been seeing our details on the screen or information on the caller. Please help us support what we do. Help us preach this gospel with your money, with your finances. And however small you have to give. It is between you and God. I ever lead to. There's a lot that we are doing, even that is outside of social media, and we need your help. We need philanthropists, we need people who are givers, who are willingly giving to God. And I may ask it to somebody, I know God has been speaking to you concerning the image because world. Please give unto us, donate to us, support our vision, support what God has been giving unto us. And we know as we give to us, our partners, those as they give to us, God always blesses them. And we always, every day, we raise an altar for them, praying for them, praying for God's blessing 
praying for God's favor, pray, praying for God's covering upon their lives. In the name of Jesus, once again, this week you are blessed in Jesus' name. Shalom. Yeah. 